What's up you guys? This is Steven and I'm back with another lyrical analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the song Morainaki by Hitoto Yo. And I'm pretty sure I um, mispronounced something up in there. So please forgive me and um, just feel free to leave a correction. Um, but this lyrical analysis was requested by YouTube user Brandon Jenkins. So thanks a lot for the request. Uh, this is my first time reviewing a song by this particular artist. And as well, this is my, like, before um, the request, I haven't, you know, I had not heard of the artist before. So, again, thanks a lot for the request, Brandon. And here we go with the lyrical analysis. Let's go. In a TV full of subtitles early in the morning. There are bugs that seem to gnaw at it. In the big living room where I try to find my place, you pass me by. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. So she's like setting up the scene here and she's saying like there's some bugs in the TV and they're gnawing at it. So I'm guessing that either these are, are these like literally what, like literally insects bugs inside of the TV or is it like okay the TV's like um, malfunctioning hmm so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the t television is malfunctioning that might help me understand this better in the big living room where I try to find my place you pass me by so someone is passing Hitoto by and I'm guessing that's her lover, maybe. I don't know. Next lyrics. I can't tell my good friends who know a lot about love and compare, in, and compare it to them. I'm a dreamer. So she can't tell her good friends about, I guess, you know, her situation where you know she's being passed by. You know, and she's having trouble in paradise. And, you know, compared to her friends, she's like, she's a dreamer, or so she says. So I'm still stuck inside the cardboard box, but please, but still, please, listen, listen, listen. So, she is still stuck inside of this box, but it's made of cardboard, so I'm guessing she could easily get out of it if she wanted to. But for some reason, she doesn't want to. But still, please listen, listen, listen. Okay. And next lyrics. E I A is E E I A A. I don't know what that's about. I'm guessing that's like some just you know noise like la 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 la. Na 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 na. Oh 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 oh. But um, yeah. Next lyrics. I received tears from you. Sentimental. It's just the two of us. Yeah, something. That again. I received tears from you. Who is the kind one? So here, so I guess someone is crying about her. It's just the two of them. And she re receives tears from this person. And she's asking, who is the kind one? Who's the nice one? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it ain't you. If you gotta ask, it ain't you. All right, here are the next lyrics. <clears throat> Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So I'm guessing homegirl might be a Virgo. The more we put into words, the less meaning it has. The little universe, parentheses, microcosmos, microcosmos, galaxy. Even the picture book that I plan to give away slowly rotted away to the trends. So here she's like, you know, shouting out her, um, you know, her sign, and 
you know she's saying like the more we put in put things into words the less meaning it has you know but you know you got to put things into words so that people can understand it though you know what if no one ever wrote anything down you know our you know like what we have what like our culture would less likely be transmitted to the next generation you know and things wouldn't be as easy as you know it is now because you know people use things from the past to help better the future and then she's talking about her picture picture book that she planned to give away so like I'm guessing this is like her photo album and she planned to give it away I'm guessing she's gonna give it to like maybe her daughter or somebody um, that's the only person I could see who would want it or like a family member at least but that picture book slowly rotted away to the trends. Oh, wow. So I guess in the picture book just, you know, died because of the trends. That's the trends nowadays. Forget your memories and stuff. And I guess that's it. Let's see. The melody that sounds at midnight cinderella who doesn't have a way home so i'm guessing that's when the bell rings and it's like 12 a.m and you know cinderella needs to get home because you know the magic is going to wear off and then once the magic wears off then she doesn't want people to see who she really is that she's you know not as awesome and glamorous as you know she portrays herself to be <clears throat> at least based on her clothing and stuff. The, let's see. Cinderella who doesn't have a way home. So, you know, Cinderella's in trouble here. The way to smile tomorrow, I want you to show me with your body. So, I'm guessing we're talking about either body language or either this is like some metaphor, you know, a metaphor for like intercourse or something. All right. Next lyrics. Yeah, yeah. And that again with that E-E-I-A-A. -A. Drop by. No, let's see. Drop by drop. Drop by drop. The cheers fall down. Sentimental. It's just the two of us. Yeah. I, I receive tears from you too. The kind one is yes, it's you. No. Huh. So she has revealed who the kind one is. I found out. You know. It is this person who's crying about her. E I I, I receive tears from you, sentimental. It's just the two of us. E I I, thank you for the tears. The kind one is, yes, it's you. So she's all like, thank you for the tears. Not like, why are you crying? Let me help you feel better. Sound like homegirl here. He to 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 yo is. Might be a little like self centered, you know? She's just like, oh wow, you're crying about me. Oh, thank you for the tears. You're the kind one. Yes, you are. It's you. Like, that's like, I don't really see you lending any type of help, you know? But, you know, that's probably why you're in this situation now, he told Toyo Yo. -Yo. And let's see the music video for this song. You now it's interesting. This has like a net, a natural nature feel to it. You know, she filmed it in nature. You know, so this has like you know, colorful leaves, and flowers, and trees, and also has these like um, like silkworms in it too. I'm like, ah, oh, that's interesting um but you know i guess that's supposed to be natural and stuff and earthy and what else i could say about this video um let's see this whole song as well as the music video but definitely the song in the vocals it kind of has like a utara hikaru hikaru feel to it like this is something that um, Utsara Hikaru, Hikaru would do. <clears throat> um, but, um, 
Um, nevertheless, it's a nice song. I like it. I like the vocals with it, too. Um, I didn't quite expect these lyrics to it. Based on the music video, I saw the music video first and then I read the lyrics. In the music video, it seems, it's, again, it's very, you know, earthy. And I thought these lyrics would probably be a little more earthy and a little bit more like, you know, like, um, the universe is small, or like, you know, we live in a silly old world where things don't go our way, but the sun shines bright on my face every day. Even when it's cloudy, I feel the sun in my face. Hey. Something like that, you know, something kind of like bit more, I guess, earthy, you know? <laughs> I didn't expect to hear about, you know, bugs and the TV and stuff. But, nevertheless, it's a nice song. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the song at the moment. It was a really popular song for um, He to -to -to Yo. You know, it was a hit song. So kudos to her for getting that hit song out and, you know, making that money. Um, but I think that's all I have to say for now. So thanks a lot again to YouTube user Brandon Jenkins for the request. And also feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, feel free to give me a thumbs up. The support is greatly appreciated. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.